Let's go to the Lakers news duty first of all subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything, the Lakers, owners of a similar 21-25 record, may be looking to make marginal upgrades at the trade deadline, and could be there to pounce should Portland decide to add draft assets instead of wins down the season's home stretch. It seems unlikely that the Lakers would do something drastic and, say, trade Anthony Davis for future draft equity, but it also is seeming increasingly likely that the team is similarly hesitant to offload as many future assets as possible to really maximize this year's roster. Instead, the Lakers appear primed to make upgrades around the margins, which is fine, but also probably means their ceiling will be a first-round exit. Here are a few intriguing trade scenarios worth the front office's consideration, if the Trailblazers decide to open for business, can LA get away with not including a future first-round pick for Payton, who due to injuries has been unavailable for most of the season? Alternately, were Portland to demand a first-rounder instead, would the Lakers be open to offloading a top-20 protected future first? Brown has been a surprisingly valuable addition to the incredibly undersized Lakers this season. And his loss would necessitate a bigger role for Juan Toscano Anderson. Would JTA be up to that challenge? Or could the Lakers get away with include his identical veteran's minimum contract instead of Brown's in this deal? Payton, a terrific defender, would really help shore up one of LA's big weaknesses this season. He would also enable the Lakers to minimize Patrick Beverly's minutes. Though Pat Bev is one of the team's better defensive guards this year, he's no longer his all-defensive self. And given his offensive limitations is often a liability on that end of the court.